yo, how you feeling? My friends, we've got another one investigation. I didn't expect it to come out so quickly, but... I mean, I guess when you've got all this lore that you've been holding in the works for so long, you just want to let it all out. In any case, today we've got Parker Robbins. If I remember correctly... No, I... I'm, I'm, I don't, don't want to make any. This was this was definitely a best friend of some sort, but I don't want to make any unscrupulous guesses because heaven knows I have not watched one in a long time. Either way, we're gonna learn some stuff today, so let's get it. Let's see what Monsieur Robbins has to say. I can't believe it's all the way down here because of Monsieur Candy Bar Boy. <laughs> Even though her story is complete bullcrap. They're still looking for some sort of confirmation. When the solution is talking to another crazy person. <sighs> Apparently, this guy filed a missing persons report for someone Boy, around the same time. I did not hear any of that. Even though her story down here. I did not hear I any of that. came all the way down here because of a stupid teenager. Because it's my job? Yeah. Even though her story is complete bullcrap. They're still looking for some sort of confirmation. When the solution is talking to another crazy person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently, this guy filed a missing persons report for someone around the same time she did, with a very similar physical description to one of the victims she identified. <laughs> yes. That's rich. Whatever he says would have to be a pretty big resemblance for us to take it seriously. Either way, I just gotta get through this interview. Okay, I'm telling you though, this guy's a nutcase. I... You, you already told me that. Just bring him in. I'll never understand. I'll never understand the concept of cops, especially detectives being skeptical of things. Like, how are you gonna how are you gonna go into the field of work where your job is to figure out what happened and you think you already know? <laughs> like, come on. You're making assumptions before you get on the scene. Like, isn't isn't that's literally the opposite of what your job is? You find the evidence, you form conclusion. Nobody wants to hear your opinions. Take, get them out of here. It, they're useless. They're pointless. Screw it. <laughs> just Hi, just do your you job. Doing? Fine. Just saying. Uh, is this about Charlotte? We'll get there in a second. Anything you need before we start? Water. Water would be nice. Water. You mm -hmm. got it, boss. <laughs> My name is Ava Ledger. I'm with the Missing Persons Unit at the Lucas County Police Department, all the way up in Ohio. Um, could you please state your name for the tape? Parker Robbins. Is this about Charlotte? Yes. Well, we're uh, currently investigating the sudden disappearance. Yes! Oh my god, finally! Nobody at this police station will listen to a word I'm saying! Thank please goodness. Calm down, sir. Uh, sorry. What do you mean, please come? If anything, you should be writing down my reactions. It is not your job to console me, it is your job to find information based on what I'm saying. S bro, these people are stepping out of line all day. <laughs> Sorry. We're investigating the disappearance of some individuals across the U.S. on the 10th of February, and we have reason to believe you might have testimony that supports this. Y yes! I, I saw it happen right in front of me. Mm -hmm. I'm aware that you already spoke to the local police about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I told them the day after it happened, and they all thought I was crazy. I couldn't make it through a whole sentence without one of them whispering or cracking jokes at each other. Completely unprofessional. Cops right. cops are really like this, well, too. I don't know about the cops in your area, but cops are really like this. They're really like... I work in social services, you guys probably know that. They they send people over here thinking they know what's going to happen. As if, it, as if you work with these people. It's like... You don't work with, with, with underprivileged or homeless populations. So you don't know what anything is. You don't know how things work around here. You see the bad stuff. That's what you signed up to do. So, basing your entire worldview off of what you literally signed up to see is idiotic. I'm the one who works in the field. I know what goes on. So you stay in your lane and let me do my job and I will let you do yours. See? Even trade-off. Money is very valuable to us and we appreciate you being here today. Thank you. Could you tell us the name of the person you saw disappear? Charlotte Stern. What was her appearance? Uh, a piece of white bread with a chunk out of the right side of her head. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time of this happening, she also had a pretty noticeable patch of mold in that area. Unfortunate. Could you give us a quick rundown of what you told the police on the 11th? Yeah. 
I was driving home from work, and I decided to go check up on her, since it had been a while. We started talking, and... and a wizard poofed her out of existence around in front of his face. I hate, I hate these people. <laughs> they remind me so much of actual cops that I've had to deal with. The police in this country are so frickin' unprofessional. And they wonder why people don't frickin' like them. See, this reminds me, I, I gotta talk to I gotta talk to the executives at the police station. I'm the half of the community, so we you know we can try and restore some some sort of confidence in the people who are supposed to enforce the law, not give their stupid opinions about what they think is going on. You know, because that's not their job. Parker, is what he said true? I know what I saw is real. I'm not Somebody it's kick him out! Funny. Kick him My out! Friend is Parker, missing. Just Parker, kick him out! Just mock me for it! Parker, please sit down. Nah, so, 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 shut up, lady. You shut up and kick him out of here. If, um, if he's not gonna leave, I'm gonna leave. And then you're not gonna have any information. You, get the hell out! Sure thing! Thank you! <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. Please, continue. <sighs> we just... We argued for a while, and then she was gone. Like that. What happened afterwards? After she vanished... <laughs> what do you mean? I was left completely alone in her house. I'm... I'm nothing. Oh, it was haunted. I searched around as she would be hiding somewhere, but of course she wasn't. I stared there the whole night, hoping that she would miraculously come back, and of course she didn't. Mm. It was the longest night of my entire life. But eventually <sighs> the sun came up, and I headed over to the police station as fast as possible. I think you probably know the rest. Yeah. What were you two arguing about before she disappeared? We gave her a bunch of money to pay for mold treatment, but it seemed like she spent it on other stuff. Who's we? Her friends. Seven, including myself. It gave her money for treatment. Have you told them about it yet? Yeah. I told them after I got back from the police station. Now they all think I had something to do with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm still standing on this, by the way. Moldy's definitely a bad friend for that. I understand that she was adamant about wanting to raise the money herself, but if you're not going to use it for what, I, for what I gave it to you for, give it back to me. Otherwise, I'm, otherwise, I'm never going to speak to you again because you just wasted my money. And unless you plan on paying it back, there's no reason for me to continue having you in my life. <laughs> But, of course, if I was him, and I saw her poof into nothing, yeah, I'd be concerned. Because no matter what happened, I still do have a connection to this person. I, when I want them to be alive and in this, in this plane of existence, like, that's crazy. Just imagine that somebody you care about just vanishes in front of you, and you can't find them anywhere. And they're just not seen anywhere. Work, school, the gym, they're just gone. And you're the last person to see them. Just think about that. Just think about that. Seriously. I didn't do anything to her. I wish I had more information to help you with your case, but I'm at a complete loss. I'm sorry. Well, with our limited knowledge thus far, we can't confirm nor deny your innocence. But if everything that you said is true, then rest assured we're going to get to the bottom of this. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. What do you mean, Please. if? Your answers will be very useful in our investigation, and, uh... Whenever you're ready, I can call an officer to escort you out. Are yeah. they... <laughs> yeah. Can we get some <laughs> escort, Parker? <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, I don't think he wants to see any more officers. Like... The Belleville Police Department... They gotta do better. I don't, I don't even know how many of you guys... I know that most of the people who watch this show... Li who watch my channel live in New York. Not many people live in Illinois, but... If you do come to Illinois, Belleville Police Department definitely needs to do better. We're out, room four. I'll be right there. Because other than Officer Gets, it's embarrassing how adults just act like children. Like you're supposed to be trained, you're supposed to be a mature, and instead you chose a a right. civil right. servant position. Nah, nah, I'm not done ranting. Hold, you chose a civil servant position. And you're going to act like you know everything. You're going to come into somebody else's crisis thinking that your opinions and your feelings are important. You did not come here to share your anything. 
you came here to fix a problem. And if you're not going to do that, then turn in your badge because we don't need any more people like that in any sort of civil service position. Okay? I work with people in the underprivileged community because I want to help them. And if I signed a, and if I signed a sheet of paper saying you're going to be deployed into into bad situations, then I would go in there prepared for that. You know how many people I've lost to everything? You know, violence, suicide, medical malpractice. I'll never walk into a bad situation thinking that I know everything. That's not what that's that's just not what a what a normal human being does. My friends, anybody who watches this, keep your mind open. Keep your heart compassionate, and walk like you have some dang sense. All right, I don't know what else to tell you. Don't be like don't be like these idiots. He should not be surprised to, to find a cop that knows how to act, okay? And neither should I. What the heck did he just say? You jerks are gonna eat your words, living the dream, living the dream, crackhead. Yeah, I don't know. I did not mean to get so triggered throughout this video, but I've been in too many situations where cops have needed to be called, just in life, and I am disappointed with their level of professionalism, with their level of despondence. I'm disappointed that they truly feel it's like they j a lot of them are really entitled that's the reason why so many so so much of the general population has this sort of what's the word disdain for them like but there have also been plenty of positive interactions with cops and it all starts with literally a good conduct a good outlook like, if you're just not a crappy person, then the people around you are not going to look at you and say, Ugh, he's gross because he's wearing a cop uniform. But if you come in with an attitude because you have to do your job, or thinking that you already understand what's going on, even though you have no experience in the field, people are going to be mad at you. Not only that, people are going to complain about you and not want to rely on you to solve their problems. And then, if you're the one who's expected to enforce the law, or, you know, jump into a bad situation, then that means that you won't be around because nobody's going to trust you or want to be around you. That means people are going to be less protected, and it's your fault. So if you guys ever ever become cops, don't be crappy people. That's that's the lesson of the video, guys. Would you send me the don't be stupid. On the Taylor case? Don't be stupid like that guy. <laughs> jerk cop. <laughs> See, jerk cop is relatable. Because I see, I've seen a lot of jerk cops. Like it may seem like a, like I'm really mad right now, but I've seen a lot of jerk cops. People freaking act like that, and that is so disappointing to me. How can you even be an adult human being and not know how to act? It don't make no sense. It does. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been I've been talking too long. All right, guys. This entire video was just me ranting about cops, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the outro short. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was definitely a little bit more, a little bit more insight into the main, into Moldy's situation, because all of these people disappeared at random times, like we saw with the little baby strawberry. He disappeared out of out of his crib, just a random time, and came back the same night. But for people who stayed a little bit longer, and since time passed in their world, they've just been gone for a long time, and nobody knows where the heck they went. And in Moldy's case, or Taylor, or no, Taylor was Taylor was the bottle. Ah, I don't even remember. I gotta rewatch the show, but it's it's interesting. It's all very interesting and very introspective, because these are situations, these are experiences that you can't really relate to, because 
they are very, I don't, they're not really realistic all, all the time, but trying to, trying to jump into that different perspective, it can still make you, help you learn a little bit more about, I don't know, yourself, it's, it's worth, it's worth the effort, okay, it's worth the time and the effort, and so is learning how to be an adult that acts like they have some sort of common sense. And uh, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, share. If you want me to talk less, put in the comments. <laughs> nah, let me stop. I, I'm, I'm gone. Literally 10 minutes out of the 15 minute video are me talking. I'm, peace. <laughs> you are loved, you're appreciated, you're gonna do amazing things. Goodbye. <laughs>